okay jai hind friends so today we are going to learn a very important topic that is to prove that root 2 is an irrational number now how we are going to prove that so by using the contradictory method we are going to prove that for example let me explain you a little bit about contradictory suppose i am telling you it is a pen and you are telling me sir it is not a pen then how i can disprove you i can simply tell that i am able to write by this pen so i can call this pen as a pen and if i am not able to uh, write for example it is a remote by this i can't write it so i can simply say it is not a pen or else we can say a marker now let us go, let us start our topic to prove that root 2 is an irrational number so which method that we are going to use that is contra dictatorial method now as we are able to see that root first what we will do first we need to assume proof let us assume root 2 is a rational number let us assume root 2 is an rational number that we are assuming because we need to prove that root 2 is a irrational number so we are taking a opposite let us assume root 2 is an irrational number now what do we mean by irrational number so root 2 is equal to it should be p by q form and what are the condition for that p and q are co prime in simple language i can say p and q doesn't have any common factor common factor and next q not equal to 0 so this three condition should be there for the p by q if i am writing and if it is a rational number now what are we do now square squaring both the sides both the sides now i will square both the sides so what are we get root 2 is equal to p by q square and here also p by q whole square so after that what are we get root 2 whole square i will get here square under root cancel 2 is equal to p square by q square now i will transfer this q square to left side so what are we get 2 q square is equal to p square after that i can write it like as q square is equal to p square by 2 again i got in left side now as whenever we are able to get the situation we can write here p square is since p square is divisible divisible by 2 p square is divisible by 2 because when q is a co prime number p square is divisible by 2 therefore p is also divisible by 2 Since p square is divisible by 2, so I can write therefore p is also divisible by 2. Up to here, do you understand? Okay. Now let us move to the next. So by this condition, we can even write let p is equal to 2c. It means p has some p is a divisible by 2, so I can anything multiply by that integer I can write in the form of p. So what is that? C is an integer. Let C be any integer. Up here, here P is equal to 2C. Now, are you able to get my point? So after that, let us make this as equation one. Now, what I will do? Now, put P is equal to 2C. Right now, we got in equation one. In equation one, we will put it. All of you are able to see that equation one p two q square is equal to p square. Here we are going to put that. So what I will get two q square is equal to p square. So p is equal to two c. Two q square is equal to in place of right I will write here two c whole square. So two q square is equal to two square four c square. Q square is equal to four c square. Two is in left side, right side it will be division. Then two one ja two 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 ja four. Q square is equal to 2c square. Again, if I am sending this Q in left hand side, then what I will get? Q square divided by 2 is equal to c square. Up here, here. Now, if I am able to get this point, then I think that you are able to observe here. 
same thing I got p square divided by 2. Then what I can write? p square is divisible by 2. Therefore, p is also divisible by 2. Here also I am able to get divisible by 2. Since q square is divisible by 2. Therefore, q is also divisible by 2. Now, as we are able to see both the equation, now see here, p is divisible by 2. Are you able to see this line? Okay, now see here, q is also divisible by 2. Now, but what the assumption we have made is that p and q doesn't have any common factor. But we are able to get the common factor since p and q also have divisible by 2 and q is also divisible by 2. So, p and q are having common factor common factor 2 which contradict our result contradict our assumption. Because as we are able to see, P is divisible by 2, Q is also divisible by 2. But what we have assumed, P and Q doesn't have any common factor. Therefore, our assumption, our assumption is wrong. Hence, what we can say? Hence, root 2 is an irrational number and proof. Same method we can solve different types of question and see here in place of 2 it is 3 then we will take here 3, 3, here it will be 3, here it will be 3. So see uh, on the same pattern we can solve root 2, root 3. We can solve even for root 2 as I proved right now. Root 2, root 3 also you can solve. Even you can solve for root 5, even you can solve for root 7 and so on. But the process remains same. If you understand the video, then please hit on the like button. Thank you. Jai